Dubuffet was often speaking of the idea of the common man, and he often said that this was the kind of audience he was aiming for in his work. He said, I would much rather that my paintings be found amusing and interesting by the man in the street when he comes out of work, not the obsessed, the initiated, but the man who has no particular education or disposition. The idea of this exhibition, Du Buffet and the City, is to show an aspect of his work that hasn't been really seen so far. In the period of 40 years of his career, from the 40s to the 80s, he constantly returned to the theme of the city, painting city scenes, painting buildings, making architectural monuments or models for monuments. During the time that Dubuff is working in and out of Paris, the face of the city is changing completely. There's a big increase of population between the 50s and the 60s in Paris, but also there's a lot of infrastructure being built. Dubuff's use of materials when he makes his models for sculptures is mirroring the drastic change in the use of materials in building at the time in the 60s and 70s in Paris. When we're in a city, we get a lot of influx of information. Dubuffet talks about the way you have to organize the different streams of thoughts you have, just like motorways in Tokyo. Dubuffet never went to Tokyo, but it really shows the way in which the city, the idea of the structure of the city, has an impact on his imagination and on his way of seeing the world. Dubuffet originally made his uh, architectural models using styrofoam, which he then cast into polyester and then also made an epoxy resin for the very large formats. So he's using all these materials which are really of his time. Dubuffet was not only working in a vacuum, but really thinking of the city as a very concrete place. So when he made these architectural maquettes, he also produced with photographers these in very interesting photomontages in which he pasted his architectural maquettes. In 1961 and 1967, the French state organized two huge exhibitions showing the public work they were doing in Paris. Architectural critics or art critics who wrote about Dubuffet's architectural projects were constantly comparing them to the state of architecture and urbanism in Paris in the late 60s. Two paintings that Dubuffet made exactly one day after the other. There's a work called Trinité Champs-Élysées, which shows a bus in the street, which was made on 25th of March, 1961, and Maison Fondée, which he made the following day. And what's fascinating is to see these two works brought together, the horizon line is the same, it's almost as if they were one painting. And that really shows how Dubuffet was working continuously, one day after the other. What we see in all these different works are different roles of the city, but there's one essential role that comes out, which is that the city for Du Buffet is a kind of arena. It's like a canvas. It's like a background in which he sees things happening and he can paint.